welcome back to No Man's Land for our survival let's play. Quite a lot. I say quite a lot's happened since the last time we were on. But then not much has happened in the sense that we've skipped about three months. We've done a few jobs, which I've done off camera. I can't remember. At the time of recording now, I think I've recorded some of it to put a really short time lapse on at the beginning of, the th of this um, episode or not. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done that. I'm just getting, I'm sort of getting confused whether it was this or Calmston that I did that with, but I think it's this one. So you might have just had a really short time lapse of us um, doing a few jobs. And some of them jobs have been, uh, we harvested, we harvested fields one and three, these two here. Um, they were the ones with weeds in and we'll come back to that but we got the barley off them and then we've cultivated them as well and what else did we do ah that'll bring us up to there so we've got the straw bales up there as well um the silage that we done in the last one the silage bales they're still not ready they're not far off but they're not ready as you can see, we're minus. Well, we're nearly six grand in the in the red. Um, we're going to claw some of that back today, and hopefully get uh, a new bit of equipment. You can see we've got no fuel whatsoever. Um, so we're going to get this sold. We'll get this sold straight away. more than what I thought actually ne that's nearly took us out of debt um, I'm more than happy with that right let's put this to the one side I'll put this here uh, we'll sell the bills and then what I want to do is I want to go probably I want to go back down because there's more eggs now. There's like two months worth of um, eggs to sell. Right, this will put us back in the green. I'm over the moon with making that much money off that wood. I did not expect that at all. All that was off as well is um, this bit here, so in the middle of that field, just bits, just random bits as well, off there. Right. Um, I'll push them on. In fact, I'll put it this side. We'll get these two bills pushed on and I'll sell those eggs and tomatoes. So 2,000... As in, I don't know whether it's going to be a full bills because some of it might have already been in the trigger. Yeah, it looks like it was, 210. Um, I'm quickly going to put some fuel in this before I conk out. We'll talk about, there's a few things once we get back down to the farm that we'll discuss. Um, because some of it's kind of been on hold for the f few months where we just couldn't do anything because we were in debt. But we'll talk about that when we go down. We'll just see how much we're going to get for the rest of that produce. And like I said, we've got more eggs as well to sell. I just, I'll have to come back and do that. Uh, maybe towards the end of the episode. Just, we'll see how much we have. The, it, the bale trail that I want to take back down with us because that is what um, the silage bales are going to go on. Right.
I mean, what have we got for this? The important thing was getting back in the green to do. I mean, already we're doing all right, are we? Tomatoes still gone. Yeah, they are now. Right, nearly there. It's so slow, isn't it? Okay, so there's another... God, it seemed like more than that. So... What are we at now? We've just made about 15 grand there, haven't we? 15,386. Fantastic. Right. Let's... Now that we've got a bit of cash to play with. I need to get some seed. I need some seed. I need some fertiliser. Um, there's a seed. Uh, sorry, there's a fertiliser. Do I want one bag or two? Let's go with one at the minute. And the seed I might actually need two. I've got a hell of a lot to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change over, get on that bale trailer, um, I'm going to get them loaded and I'll see you back down there. Back down at the farm, we're quickly going to try something because, I don't know if you can see, but you will do now, there's no water left in the greenhouses. I tried to go and fill this up with the Fiat and even though it was coming up, and recognising that it needed to start filling, it wasn't filling. And I know I've had issues with the Fiat previously when it comes to um, towing things. Yep, and it's filling up absolutely fine now. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what it is. I th it's possibly, in fact, I was going to say it's possibly because the same button does something else. It opens the doors, but I don't think it does. I think it's the same button that opens the covers the cover for this opens the door all I'll do is I'll put a thousand litres in each and then off camera I'll fill it because I mean with the size of the tank we got you can just go back and forth for ages I could do with getting a bigger one to be honest um, right. oh look at that bang on 50% Right. There we go. We will get that off for now. I'm going to quickly hook up to the fertilizer. I'm going to start cracking on with bits that we need to do. I'm also going to have the fertilizer when I like having that on. and then tell how much we're spreading. So yeah, these two fields, we've... Um, harvested, cultivated, and we're now going to put the first load of fertiliser on. And I'm hoping, from these fields onwards, they're going to be back to being in a pretty much perfect state. Because um, what we're aiming to get is a hoe. I think it's 26 grand um, to 
sort them weeds out. I had a comment off, um, and I'm sorry if I butcher your first name. It's Nesko Devich. Um, and what he was saying is basically he noticed from um, an update a few weeks back that it does go straight to the weeds do go straight to medium they skip that first first phase which is obviously what I've noticed on here as well get that down one um, so yeah we just haven't stood a chance basically that's why these fields without us even realising these fields have ended up full of weeds um, and those ones over there although I've gone through them with our weeder it's still not getting all of them ah totally caught in two mines there yeah it's not been getting all of them so there'll be weeds in them two fields as well the ones that I've got I think they've both got canola in Oh, that one in front of us might have oats in. Oh, I can't remember. So we need to get up to twenty six grand, which we're gonna we're gonna do, not a problem. We've got the eggs, which we've now got no room for. Um we've got the silage. There's three boxes of furniture and there's quite a bit of canola oil as well um, so I mean getting up to that won't be an issue I've got row crop ties on so we can just go in there I know I'm missing odd bits but I'm not overly fussed Oh, just missing little bits. So we've got two lots from there. Two thousand litres of fertiliser. We don't half go through it. I just haven't got an option at the minute of doing it more naturally with um with slurry or manure. Saying that though, I have just got that pack on um on Calm Snamna, the slurry pit. I could look at maybe getting the manure one. Might be an idea. In fact, that is definitely something we're gonna look at. Get that down to that one. I'll finish this little bit. And then we'll look at we will look at the silage. Let's go over and have a look at that. Also you'll notice our spruce trees that we've put in here. Are they spruce? Yeah they are spruce, I'm sure they are. Um all hit the first growth stage so you'll see we've got a good few there's a lot of money there a lot of money um 97 percent and these ones these will be the ones that are earliest as well i would have thought the ones at the bottom 97 i'll turn that off 95, yeah, so I can't remember I'd have to have a look through it might be um, it might be Neshko again who told us about ah, no, it wasn't Chuck Go Gaming that's who it was, I've just looked back through my notifications Um told us about the fermenting I think 1% every 30 minutes he said so we've still got another few hours haven't we 
before we can get them collected. So I might as well start seeding. Just put this back. We will get the. In fact, just pull that in there. Get the Fiat. I wonder if they're ready now. They look ready, don't they? They look fully farmed now. Wait, I'll just get hooked up to the cedar. Wait, we are full. And what we're going to do is, we've run out of canola. Um, ah, I'll quickly show you something. So from finishing those um, harvesting those fields earlier the ones you'll have seen in time lapse we've now got 60,000 litres nearly 61,000 litres of barley so I'm going to give it a rest for this um, for this particular cycle and we're going to go we're going to put some other crops in um, we've run out of canola for the oil so we'll try to get a decent sort of stash of canola up so we can keep just continuously doing them um, the canola oil and what I'll do I've already got I missed a bit there I've already got oats in the ground in field number two um, so we'll look at something else soybeans maybe uh, just anything so we can just keep those productions going that is what's going to make us the money while well, I pass I need to remember to move some of them pallets out of the way as well right let's get to the end of here Get these shifted so we can get some new ones spawning. And these, these have been an absolute lifesaver. They're a little gold mine, aren't they? I know I say it every time, but getting another couple of these would just, it would really kick the series on just spend the money on doing so because I think we gen we can generate enough barley now I don't think that's an issue um, one of the other things I want to speak about we um, I don't know if it was the last episode within the last two I mentioned about in fact the last episode was called um, getting back to basics wasn't it because of the way things have sort of slipped that we're not keeping up with things some of it out of our control so the weed thing didn't know about um, so I didn't know to keep on top of it that was something that's happened that like I said was out of my control and I couldn't sort of change it but now we know about it now we can try to keep on top of it but things um, things like not fertilising fields 200% even leaving them at 50 and uh, just getting in that place where we didn't have enough money to buy seed and fertiliser that wasn't good so one of the questions that I think I asked was about do we buy a new piece of land when we get up to the money do we invest it in machinery and one of the things that um, Feldon put a comment in saying about possibly um, buying a new bit of land might sort of be counterproductive at the minute and the reason for that is because if I'm struggling to keep on top with these the two sort of sections of land that I've got with the equipment that I've got which is the key I think um, would it be worth buying another piece of land now before purchasing the equipment the machinery and I think to be honest thinking about having thinking about his comment I think you might be right 
I think the machinery, the productions, need to come first and then put the money into a new piece of land. I think that might be the most sensible way of doing it because we've spent quite a bit lately. We've actually bought the harvester, we've bought other bits of um, other bits of kit as well. That, well, this tractor for another this Fiat. Um, yeah, I think before we buy another section, we need a bigger kit. The the grass works a perfect example. That field. Over there, our grass field should not take as long as what it does to um, to deal with. But because our equipment's so small, and the main the windrow the windrow takes absolutely ages because the windrow itself is tiny. So that's our focus now. Um, upgrade our kit get some more productions going which we can do quite cheaply as well um, I think we've seen haven't we with the production packs some of them are only 10 grand uh, I know the main one's 50 but 10 grand um, I already know how we're going to sort them I know I need to do some terrain editing but That is where we're heading, and I think that'll keep us out the red. I mean, it, it, it was that bad that not only could I not f buy fuel, uh, sorry, not only could I not buy seed and fertilizer, but I couldn't buy fuel, so I had to leave that feed, not the feed tractor, the styre up at the top, um, because I couldn't risk driving it back down and it wouldn't out fuel. we need to not just get into a situation like that again. The other thing that Felton was saying, which I didn't even think about until now, it was um, concentrate on maybe paying the loan back. The issue with that um, is for the amount I'd appear to pay off, it's not going to make an interest, it's not going to make a, a dent in the interest really. You have to pay a lot off before we start getting that interest down so I think I'd rather pay for the machinery first and then um, and then start looking at that and plus I really don't want to pay the loan off I know we have to, that's the point like, we started this this series the way we did and the point was to get um, get the farm up and running and to get that debt paid off it just feels like such a <laughs> such a waste Do I? In fact, yeah, I do. What we're going to do is we're going to do the rest of this and field number three. We'll do some of it as time lapse and I'll jump some of it. And then in that time, hopefully, the silage is closer to being fermented. I might even in that time as well go up and collect the other trailers because I'm going to need them um, for things like the eggs and uh, the furniture, the oil, stuff like that they're all going to get sold, I think, in this episode so we can get some of the equipment that we want to get so, we'll put time lapse on and I'll be back shortly
back home. Um, you'll see we at quarter to two. All our silage is um, fermented, so we're going to get the first load sold now. We've actually done quite a bit um, since we've been off. Right, I'm hoping for a good amount here. Yep, that will do. 16754, that will definitely do. So that takes us up to 22. Right, let's go and get the rest of it. Only half a trailer this time, so... 8,000 summit. Um, I think is what we'll get for this. Which, that'll take us up to about 30. 30,000. Um... We have. I'll tell you what I need to do, I've just noticed. And I thought we'd run out. We've still got 12,000 litres of canola in the silo, and we've run out of. Um, we've run out of canola in the production, so we're going to have to get that up as well. And I need to check the prices for the furniture and the canola oil. I'm going to have to leave this trailer up here and then take the dumper down. Yeah, 8,300, so it takes up to 31 grand. Right, I'll get this put over here. I think off camera, once this video is finished, I'll take all of them back down because all three trailers are up at the minute. Wait, let's go and get this canola. And the other thing I might do while we're up there, sorry, while we're up there, while we on today, I might quickly. Should we and edit some of this? Get it looking a bit better than it is now. Try to stay on castle. Two seconds. Right, full trailer full of canola. It leaves us with about 200 litres. Um, I'll not bother putting that in yet. I'll shift that whenever whenever we get some more. We've got, in fact, I say obviously, I'll show you what we were doing. Um, during that time, the last time lapse. I'll just get this dumped and then I'll be able to get the graphic up to show. I've just checked prices. The canola oil I'm quite happy to sell now I think. The furniture I'm just going to keep. Um, the furniture price is just on its way down really. Um, I think it's around the side here for this. Right, um, yeah, see, furniture's there. It's starting to go down. It's like 300 lower than it should be. Where the oil, um, 18, yeah, it's still rising a little bit, but I'll quite happily sell it at that price. I'll just put this trailer over here. We'll get that one there. I mean, the only reason all three of our trailers were here is I had them ready, didn't I? At the beginning of this episode, because we needed... Well, we sold stuff off all three, didn't we?
I'll get the sword and then I'll show you what we've been doing and why we've been doing it. I'm expecting Nick. I didn't realise I had five. So, I was at six. Now I've got six. So we should. Make some good money. Finish getting these loaded. I'll get them over to the cell plane. All six loaded up. 6,000 litres of oil at just over 1,800 per thousand litres. So what do you think? About 10 grand? Maybe something like that, isn't it? Nearly 11. We will take that. So, I mean, putting that canola through there is already paying off, isn't it? I know we've had to spend 10 grand buying it, but that's the production bought now. Whatever we put through there now is, um, is profit, really. Right, let's get some of this uh, editing done. In fact, I'll save it first, because if there's something I'm going to mess up, it's Terrain Eden. So we want painting. I can't remember. Was it dirt? Is that what we used? So that's just one width of that. And we'll leave a bit in the middle. That will come out a little bit longer. Get along there. What I plan to do is get a one back to back here. I can't remember how to change the the um. Tool. Not like this. I'll have to put the thing on. Well, I'll, do, I'll quickly get it finished off and I'll show you. Right, I think that's pretty much there for now. Um, like I said, we're going to put, it'll be in the next episode, but we're going to put another production there. And face them back over, so we'll probably have this come round here in a bit of a square, sort of make use of the space. Um, and I also want to look at a manure selling point as well, which will come up here somewhere. Um, might be able to fit it in at the back of here, possibly. Don't know. The last thing that I was going to show you before we go off. Um, is in fact we'll tab over I know I don't normally do but 
we'll tab over it. Um, what I've done is, you've seen us start to put canola in this field. It's also been fertilised once and rolled. So we've got canola in there. We've got canola in this one. Again. Uh, fertilised and rolled. We've got canola in here, but it's got no fertiliser on. It wasn't rolled and it's partial weeds. So that's just going to be grown out. So these two fields are basically going to be the last of the sort of mistakes. In our big field here, we've put oats in. Um, and the reason for that is, obviously, this field got messed up. So it was planted over two days, which means I'm waiting for this bit. And there's partial weeds in the bulk of it. There's no fertiliser on it, and there's large weeds in this bit here. Um, obviously still recovering from our mistakes with them. So, what I want to do is, there's a production pack. I'll have a look now quickly. We need a one for oats. Because they're going to start getting put through now. There's one for oats. So the dairy production. Let's have a look, see what we can make there. It'd be like an old drink or something like that, won't it? There, an old drink. Oatmeal and. Can you make popcorn out of that as well? No, that's corn, obviously, popcorn. Um, so them two. I can make, but there's no sell point for it, so we'd have to. I oh, would have to build the shop as well. Right, we'll think about that later. I hope we're kind of back on track now. Um, we've learned about the mistakes for the weeding. I think we're kind of on top of stuff. This grass field. I think I'm gonna cut bale and get rid of the bales not get rid of them but move them off camera um, because then we're going to churn it up we're going to get rid of all these stones we're going to light roll it and lime it properly um, so hopefully increase the yield off that but I'll do a lot of that off camera because I know some of it will be quite tedious and we've only just done grass cutting as well and like I said I want to improve the the kit we've got anywhere for it but I'm going to leave it there so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one